Good morning. <clears throat> I just started my day grocery shopping, which is one of my least favorite activities now. Janet's gonna come over for breakfast this morning. Whoa, hello, son. Since I finished phase two yesterday, I can eat whatever I want, technically, because I'm not on the diet anymore for the challenge. Like, I can just do whatever. So I saw a cookie when I came downstairs. I was like, ooh, I'm gonna go back to eating all that crap. I saw the cookie, picked it up, broke off a tiny piece, but put that piece back. Did not eat. Instead, I grabbed a granola bar to eat before I go and do this because I know that whenever I go grocery shopping when I'm starving, <laughs> I buy way too much and then I end up wasting it. That was just a little cool thing. That's like progress for me. So anyways, that's the update for now. Oh, look at that chin. That, you know what, I used to look at that and be like, wow, I hate myself. Now I look at it and think, you know what, I have access to so much food that I can eat enough to get this. That's how I'm trying to train myself to think. I am lucky to have this because that means I have access to good food. Mm? Might not fully believe that yet, but I'm trying. So, progress over perfection, am I right, ladies? Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now. Jacket this like one that. is the one. Come on, Gracie. That's nice, Gracie. Come on, Gracie. That's a good girl. You're so pretty. Okay. So Gracie, pretty. Gracie, oh, what? Come here. Come here. You want me to go get him, Rocky? Rocky. Rocky. What are you going to do? You going to get him? Go get him, Molly. Go get him. You gonna go get him? No. <laughs> Set up. Uh -huh. All right, let's go. Rocky, come. Sorry, Rocky like, she has the poop bag. bag. <laughs> Rocky wants the poop bag, and Gracie's got a rock. Mmm. No, 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 no. Mmm. Guys. Oh, top, top, top. <laughs> Can you pull it out, please? <laughs> come on. Well, hey, everybody. So I just recorded my phase two reflection video and I wrote the phase two blog and now I'm on my way to get my one nail fixed because I got it done like a couple days ago and it already chipped. So if I don't do it now, then they'll tell me that I waited too long and then they won't fix it and then it will chip and then it will just, I'll pick them all off and then I'll ruin my nails and then it's just bad. Yeah, that's it. Yoga with Rocky. Hello everyone, so it is 8 o'clock. I am pacing in my room because I still need 2300 more steps. That's right. Uh, I'm feeling really overwhelmed right now and really just like unbalanced because I was super busy today with getting all of my phase two reflection stuff done. This is the first time I've been like at home during a transition time. Usually I'm at my apartment where I have like my own space and I don't have anyone else to distract me. I just have me and being here, I just had like family stuff to do and people to see and it just like I didn't have as much time to myself as I normally would so it just I feel really really stressed out <laughs> I'm just like <laughs> I'm also feeling stressed because today is like the first day of like my new program challenge whatever thing that I picked out for myself and my idea was to do one power hour every day but I just I decided to make it every day <laughs> like do one thing every day when it was like kind of too late to get today's hour in so I'm just like ah uh, really stressed out for like no real reason because it doesn't matter it's my own program like it doesn't matter what if I do it or not you know what I'm saying so I'm just like ugh, I'm overwhelmed I'm overwhelmed with everything right now and now my arm is getting sore from holding this up. Well, hello everyone. I just had a full-on panic attack and I just felt like I should share it because you know, I'm always honest, fully transparent, pretty much fully transparent. I mean, you can't be 100% transparent because you guys don't want to know everything. Anyways, so I just was downstairs pacing to get my steps 
and just like scrolling through TikTok and all of a sudden I just got hit with like a wave wave of nausea and at first I was like that's weird I must be getting sick or because of like all this sh stuff that I ate today my, my stomach must be off whatever so I sat down for a little bit kept scrolling trying to get my mind off of it and I just like couldn't shake this feeling and when I was younger I would get these really really bad stomach aches that felt like I was sick and it was like impossible for me to understand the difference if it was like anxiety nausea or like if I was actually sick and so that would stress me out more because my I have a phobia of vomit like I just it it's terrible uh, I don't handle it well that hasn't happened for like a long time I am have been Obviously, I've gotten very good at <laughs> handling my anxiety and being able to tell the difference between sick stomach ache and anxiety stomach ache. This was one of those times where I literally thought I might be sick. That made me stress out more. And so I was like, okay, I'll just take a shower and get in bed. And then I was turned on the shower and all of a sudden I just started to cry out of nowhere. And I couldn't pinpoint what was making me so upset. And that was stressing me out more. And I was crying so hard that I could not stand. My f body was like convulsing, snots going everywhere. Water's getting in my eyes. Yeah, my eyes are all red and my makeup is all like smudged. And it was just, I just sat there in the shower on the floor for like 12 minutes straight, just sobbing, like could not breathe, could not move, could not stop crying. I just am so overwhelmed with how life is right now and just this pandemic and the fact that my parents are traveling right now. Like I get it, they want to see my grandfather, but like ugh, people are dying and mm, I just saw ladybug. I don't want to keep talking about it because I don't want to keep getting stressed out. I need to calm myself down but I just wanted to share that because not every day is perfect and not every day is happy and going with the flow. Sometimes this happens. I just have to deal with it. Right now my coping mechanism is to put this on my blog. I'm gonna go write in my journal and I'm gonna watch Grey's Anatomy until I fall asleep and that is how I'm gonna cope with it. Yeah, life is really overwhelming right now and if you feel the same way sometimes, just know that it's normal at least and I'm not a anything qualified except a human with anxiety <laughs> so you're not alone if you also sit in your shower and cry because this pandemic is so overwhelming or just anything is overwhelming like this stuff happened to me before the pandemic this just happened to be the pandemic that I'm stressed about anyways if you made it to this point <laughs> thank you I appreciate you. I hope you are having a great day wherever you are. And if you're not, I hope that your day gets better. And I will see you when I see you.